do 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 That's a spring song. What is it? Do 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 do. I don't know. It's called do do, Jeff. The do do song. It is spring. Spring is here. It is here in Canada. I see. Oh nope. That's like the only snow that is actually. I was gonna say I see green grass and I look. There is green grass. That's the only snow. section the snow is left in. Yeah. I don't know any of these games as per usual. I'm sure they're super ridiculous. So uh, no. be mindful. Jeff, first of all, they're not ridiculous. They're very on brand. Let's go. Okay, that means it's ridiculous then. And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games. And spring. Exactly. Spring has sprung. Spring is here. And that means it's a new season. And that means it's another time ridiculous video where Jamie has no criteria and just spits out ridiculous recommendations video, for and today spring. Games. We're talking about spring. That's like one of those songs that, you know, one person starts and then in the middle somebody else starts and then... So like Harmony? No, like it's called a roundabout. A uh, traffic circle? People do. Do, 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 And then you would go do, 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 and then I could do, do, and row, row, row your boat's another one. I go row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, and then you'd start row, 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 and I'd say nearly, nearly, and then they overlap. This might be the most boring conversation I've ever been part All right, let's get into recommendations. Okay, today, my friends, I have 10 new spring games to recommend for you. Last year, I, I did 10 games and it blew your socks off. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's pick it up again. Let's do some more spring games. People love the spring games. How many did you do, 10? Mm-hmm. Number 10 is gonna really set the example here. Hmm. Did she do it normal or is it shenanigans? Well, you know what? Sometimes I like to do a bit of both. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. Now, the- Again, I don't know what any of these are. Jeff doesn't know anything. Well, let's take a step back. What do you think of when you think of spring? Uh, warmer weather, birds, grass, and going melting to, snow. And going to the cafe. And the first game that I have to recommend... That has nothing to do with spring. Yep, they open up their patios in the spring. And the no, first they game that I want to recommend is called Dolce. <laughs> it might not be pronounced Dolce, it might be Dulce. I don't know. I keep getting, I'm pretty sure dulse means seaweed. So I'm going to say it wrong and you're just going to have to deal with it. Now, this game is about having a nice little cafe, a pastiery, pastry. What's it called? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm just waiting for you to justify this one to me. So this game, you're like running this little cafe and you got all these little cubes and you're like making stuff and like desserts and, and that kind of thing. And it's like- Are you making shops? What? No. You're like gathering ingredients on the card and then once you have enough ingredients you pick up those ingredients and then you've got the thing and you're adding cards to your grid. It's been a while since we played it but I'll tell you what when we played it. Why is it spring? Jeff because where did you go today? To the cafe. I went to uh, get light bulbs. And Jeff was in such a springtime mood at the cafe today that he bought a $40 mug. Okay. So you can't tell me Wait. that you weren't, that love second, wasn't in the second air. Second question. Or second statement. I didn't realize it was $40, so all I got rung in. And I wasn't about to be like, I don't want it now. It's really nice. Now I'm going to have to buy one too, because I can't just not have one if you have one. People start to go to the cafes in the spring because they're like, ah, oh, let's go for a walk. And when you go for a walk, you walk by the local cafe and you walk in and there are the croissants and the lattes. Have we ever And the London done that? fogs. We don't really go outside much, but That's if we point. did... You're like, people walk by the cafe. Anyways, the point is, We've never done that. Dolce is a great little game. It's very puzzly. It's very thinky. It's very brain burny. You're essentially like... Not at all spring. Yeah, yeah Jeff. I, you, you know what? Oh, fresh air. My brain feels fresher. It feels like I can think. I can think clearer so I could play games like this. In the winter time, I'm like, no, thank you. Too groggy. Can't More like... No thanks time. Exactly. Mm. And Jeff, yes, now you're getting it. So anyways, you are collecting all these ingredients in order to make different types of like desserts or pastries and things like that. And you are doing that stuff. If this is 10, I'm real excited to see what That's one is. That's number 10. Let's move on. 
I bet you number ten or number one is going to be now, like Oathsworn. There's going to be a theme. Got trees in it. There's going to be a bit of a, a theme here for a couple of these games because oh, I got to. The tell theme you is something. not spring, though. What's the first thing that you hear when spring starts? Uh, birds. Exactly. Was that a bird? Or yeah. a... <laughs> that was a bird. So the first, the Do next game. <laughs> Haven't you heard them? They're That's the, the best bird you can do. They're the potu birds. So the next game I'm recommending is called Featherlight. I'll give you this now, one. Now, birds scream spring. They also scream in spring. This is a good one. Thank you. I know. Featherlight has beautiful springtime colors, and it comes out in the potu bird's feathers. Looks like Javin And there's Hopper. a nest in the middle of the table, and you're essentially playing fantasy realms. You've got a hand of cards, and you're trying to optimize those cards by collecting feathers and doing stuff with feathers. Because why? Why? Birds. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I could say that this couldn't possibly be more spring. Right. You agree? I think this is one of your better picks for sure. Thanks. There's going to be some good ones on here. You know what? Let's stick with the bird theme. You could just pick 10 bird games. Yeah, that could be really? a whole video all on its own. Board Game Barrage does a video every year. Uh, not a video. They do an episode every year about bird games. And every year, Mark picks Biblios. Because monks, oh, right. monks remember, are yeah. the birds of the people. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> the next game, another bird game, and a button shy game. you love to see it. This is called Forest Sky. I haven't played it, so I can't comment on this. That's not true. We have played this together. I don't remember playing it. Jeff, it's the one with the birds. I don't remember. And then I there's don't remember like, it at remember, all. there's like one side here of the forest and one side here, and you're trying to like get your hand optimized once again. Do you know what spring is like? It's about optimizing because because you're like like spring cleaning. Yeah, you're spring cleaning. You're optimizing your space. You're optimizing your brain with all the fresh air. You're thinking about stuff and you're looking at birds. And so you got your hand of bird cards and you got one forest on one side and one on the other side and you're gonna use the cards that you oh, have. Oh, I remember now. And you gotta choose one of the sides. So you're like mixing cards up so that you can optimize the cards in your hand with one of the yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, I remember nests. that now. Okay, it's pretty good. Spending. let's think about birds. Now let's think about ancient birds. Okay. And what are we thinking of? Dinosaurs. <laughs> now, the springtime is when the ground Thaws. The paleontologists and the archaeologists are celebrating spring. Did it's you pick here. Fossilus? And the game I have picked is Fossilus. <laughs> and then Stop it. Jeff. Jamie. Jeff, you can't <laughs> dig up dinosaur bones in the winter. <laughs> I'd like to see a try. Yeah, they can, as long as it's not in Canada. Well, I'm talking about Canada. <laughs> it's I'm not talking. not like the only place they dig up dinosaur bones is Jeff, in Canada. Oh, yeah, what's yeah, that yeah. beach called where they get all the fossils from? Uh... There? Starts with a J. Joggins. Joggins. So I'm, yeah. I'm specifically thinking about digging up fossils at Joggins, which is near New Brunswick. It's in Still, New Brunswick. It is in New Brunswick? I think so, yeah. Anyways, I'm it doesn't sure matter so. where it is. The I could be wrong. Is, I thought it was in New Brunswick. The spring makes the ground <gasps> soften. You just had to include a dinosaur game. Is that what this is about? <laughs> they're, they're timeless. Is what they are. And season. And Seasonless. They're in season, though, specifically in the Dinosaurs spring. are in season. Yes, dinosaurs are in season. Because, uh, the anyways, the point is, Fossilus is about digging up fossils and trying to put the fossils together to make dinosaurs so that you can get points. Jamie's so bad with the little tweezers. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's like operation. There's no buzz, but, like, you have these little tweezers, and you're going to try and pick up the little fossils from in the little holes, and you're like... They're bones. You're digging up rocks and stuff, and then you're like, boop, what's under here? Oh, it's a pelvis bone. Why'd you pick that? I don't know. It's the first bone that came to my mind. They're in there. <laughs> fossils is a great spring game if you love dinosaurs and if you like playing in the mud. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, this one you can't argue with me, and this is one Jeff's uh -huh. never played, but it's a game that Michelle and I play together. Jeff, if you were to think of a specific spring flower, mm -hmm. tell me what you're thinking. Honestly, there's only one dandelions. Right, Jeff, there's only one right answer, and that. But that's a it. weed. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, I really like marigolds. No, Jeff, it's a springtime flower. What is the first flowers that you see? Um, they pop up. And then they die. Dandelions. No, Jeff. And they come in like pretty colors. The Dutch. Oh, awesome. tulips. Yes, tulips. Okay, so this is called the Gift of Tulips. I haven't played it. So now this is set in the Netherlands. And you know where, you know what? 
I only want to go to the Netherlands in the spring because that's when the tulips are rampant, just like in Gift of Tulips. They, I think it's the Netherlands, send uh, tulips to Ottawa every year. Yes, they do. For uh, our part in liberating them in World War II. Absolutely. I agree with this one. This is a good pick. It's a great pick. So there's like, I think, good, you'd, I think you'd like it. It's a good There's pick. like um, a marketplace and then you've got cards and your opponent has cards and you're scoring based off which tulip type in the marketplace is like got the most tulip points. type or color color type tulip color whatever it's kind of like um biblios in a way where you pull a card and you're like hmm for me you pull another card oh dang that would have been great for me but i guess i'll have to give it to you oh and that's you kind of like another... that other button biblios. tussy oh, mussy kind of yeah. sure yeah and you put, oh, I guess I got to put that into the market. Anyways, it's a great game about flowers, and flowers are very spring. So the next one I think oh, I need to Oh, here change. we go. No, you got to stick with it. You put it down, you stick with it. Stick with your but I just You're going to go from gift of tulips to something completely Okay, well, obnoxious. hear me out. It's just because we've already talked about this in this video about how it's probably a winter game. But I was thinking about no thanks. Because you're saying to winter, no thanks. Not anymore. Not today. Who is? Was it, Who's saying that? Was it, Mother Nature? Is it snowing? No thanks. No more snow. No you know thanks. what? I'll give you that one. Thank you. Because there's a lot of me saying no thanks whenever it's too cold in the exactly. spring. Exactly. So this is a game about saying no thanks. You know what? It's a game to practice saying no, which is important because in the springtime, more people are going to be asking you to do stuff. And it's okay to say no. Because your friends are like, oh, son, let's go outside. And you could be like, no, no thanks. thanks. Hey, do you want to go to a patio? No, no thanks. thanks. Exactly. And so this is a card game where you are bidding on cards not to take. Because mm -hmm. you don't want them. Because eventually you're going to have to take them. And basically the cards that you take are negative points. And you don't want that. No mm -hmm. thanks. No thanks. And you know what? You are allowed to say no thanks to your friends when they keep hounding you to do stuff. Your justifications no are getting better. Thank you. Even though the picks, I don't know if they're getting any better, but your justifications are getting better. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> this is something that we don't experience here where we are specifically. But if you're in the desert, let's say, and you don't really know what seasons are because it's always hot. But every now and then, I assume this happens just in the spring. But if they don't have seasons, how would they signify the fire in the spring? may bloom in an unexpected place. <laughs> And where might that be? Couldn't that happen year round? Where might that be, Jeff? In an oasis. On top of another plant called a cactus. <sighs> this game is called Ouch. Now, there's a few things I want to say. Like, let's even forget wow. about the cactuses. But what happens in spring? What the, is the, this pick? The bees wake up and sting you. And what do you say? Ouch. <clears throat> Allergies. Ouch. It's raining. Everything's really slippery. You slip. Ouch. Do you slip and fall and say ouch or just slip? Because <laughs> I feel like that's a, an important uh, differentiation. Either. doesn't matter. Bee stings. Ouch. Bug bites. Ouch. This is a game where you're trying not to get an ouch. Oh, boy. So basically, the cards are face down, and you're just picking them up. you got to choose a side, and you got to pick it up. And if there's a cactus spike, you say, ouch. Ugh. <sighs> and then if not, yay. And then you get to put it into your collection. You're collecting. It's like set collection. Purely random. It's all random. Yeah, There's no strategy. It's fun, though. It it's is fun. fun. It is and fun. it's very, like, spring colors because there's flowers on the cactuses. And the more flowers, that's how you get points. It's the flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this one I could have picked for any season. And, in fact, I might <laughs> even put it into every single one of my seasonal recommendations this year. Mm -hmm. It's a game that we love. It's a game that we play in multiple formats. And it starts with spring, and that is called Stardew Valley. Mm. Now, when I... I'm down with this just because I'm in love with Stardew. But... When I think of Stardew Valley, it starts in the springtime. This it is does. how you launch into your life, into your adventure with the spring and the cherry blossoms and stuff, and you're getting parsnips. Do you know why this works even better than I think you think it does? Why? It's because, like, when you're in the winter and Stardew, you can't farm, like, anything Ugh. and then when spring comes back around it's like finally plant 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 exactly now stardew valley is a great game i'll recommend it every season i don't care it's amazing but it starts in spring and that's why it's on this i'm list. down with that pick it's a co-op game you're just trying to do grandpa beck schools not grandpa beck 
You can call him whatever you want. Grandpa Beck He's is literally grandpa. a publisher. Yes, and I that, love. That I also does love not. him. Oh, this one, Jeff. Do you know what comes out in the spring? No, uh, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Do you know me. who gets extra hungry? Dogs. In the spring. Pandas. Do they? And the pandas in the spring. Are we really up to speed on a uh, panda's diet? And Are you not? Migratory patterns in order to establish whether is, or not they eat more My in the recommendation is going to be tack and oko. And primarily... I'm only giving you this one because we never talk about tack and oko, and it's a great game. I've been playing it on BGA quite a lot. It's a great, lot. great, it's a great intro game. game. Great game. Yeah. Now, the colors of tack and oko scream spring. I agree. They're pink and green and yellow. I agree. And... Look at this. I don't know It's why. raining. <laughs> in the springtime, it rains in the springtime. And the panda says, I'm hungry. And so the panda's eating bamboo. And the gar there's a gardener. And you start your garden in the spring. There's no other season that feels appropriate to me for Takenoko. Maybe summer, but even then, I think. I rain. actually agree. Thank you. You convinced me on that How one. cute is this? Takenoko's a great little game. Look at his belly button. Okay, Takenoko, we're on the same page. Perfect. We have one left. And this one is like, you can't even argue because mm, we'll what about that. is the color of spring? Green. Exactly, Jeff. And what is the greenest game you can think of? Verdant. Exactly, Jeff. This is a game all about plants. Oh, this is a good pick. And in Verdant, you need to make sure, like, listen, we all love house plants and stuff. And so this is a... Do we? We have none. We have one aloe vera and one cactus. Where? In the kitchen. Never both noticed. Both in the kitchen. Never noticed. The aloe vera is almost dead. And Verdant, you are putting out a grid of different like plants and they are trying to make sure that they have the right type of sunlight. Mm. This is like real life spring. You're like, mm. where should I put my house plants? Mm -hmm. You can't even like buy house plants here until the spring. That's not true. Where do you get them? Ikea. Mm. I guess. You don't want to go to Ikea for your husbands. You want to go to the greenhouse. You want to go to the nurseries. That's where oh, you get the good stuff. I can actually smell it. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you walk into one of those places and it's just like, boom. Yeah. And you know what else is in there? Bees. Ouch. See, it's all coming full circle. Listen, is that the best list that you can that's possibly actually, ask for? That's actually your, probably your best uh, list of these videos. And it's because... Of the dinosaurs. No. I do want to throw another one in here because I just played it today. But the colors are very spring. It's called Numsters and it's from Button Shy. And it's about numbers eating other numbers. But it's very bright and colorful in springtime. And you know what? I tend to get a little bit hungrier in the spring too. So. I also will throw a game out because <gasps> we should. Okay. And I haven't played it. What is it? Dwarves Spring. Dwarves Spring. Why didn't I have that on the list? Well, Don't we haven't played it yet. That's we have not why. played Dwarves Spring. But it's spring now. It's from now. Vesuvius Media, yep. and it's literally spring. It's in the title. We are going to be playing that this season. We have been holding out for spring, mm. and it it's here. Spring has sprung. Anyways, I would be very interested down below to know some of your favorite spring games, along with all of the justifications. Yeah, those are some of my favorite. If you don't have a reason for the season. Don't put it on your list. Don't put it on your list. If you're interested in buying board games, like any of the many that we mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store, which I guarantee you is open in the spring. I know ours is. And what is ours? The Boardroom Game Cafe. Absolutely it is. They do like spring stuff all the time. They're they do. They're springing up all over the place. They're always springing it up. Always spring it. And you know what else you can get in the spring? Snacks from Munch Pack. You can. Absolutely. Taste test coming soon. Burdock and dandelion. Yeah, that's a very spring drink. That's why I said it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. Happy spring. Happy dinosaur digging. The end. I got a list. Don't you worry. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <sighs> ten. <clears throat> I'm starting to worry. Are you stuffed up? Allergies. Spring. Because normally, yeah, I'm like... I was wondering, last night my nose was all stuffed up. And like my eyes have been watering and stuff. Spring has sprung. Uh, Not quite yet, but it's definitely yes. getting warmer. When this video has hit... That's probably because I blow all the snow in the driveway there. are my only exception. Alright, let's... I...
I'm basically going to be reacting. Yes, exactly. See, Jason, a react video. A react video. Now, I need you to look at me a second because you got a little sleep dust. Jeez, it's really in there, huh? This is fun. Why doesn't it come out? I got it. Ooh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Whatever. The okay. content <laughs> you all come to see. Anyways. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. This. What number are we at? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. Okay. I don't trust your math, but that's fine. 